cardiac cycle cardiac cycle okay so when we discuss the cardiac cycle mainly we are discussing the seven phases and uh, first of all let us see what is cardiac cycle actually cardiac cycle is one systole plus one diastole is equal to one cardiac cycle so one heartbeat to the next heartbeat it is a cardiac cycle so before uh, let us uh, before discussing the different phases of cardiac cycle let us try to draw the heart chamber this is the right side of the heart this is pulmonary artery then this is we have superior vena cava and inferior vena cava this is atrium and this is ventricle and we have here oh sorry okay yeah we have this is semilunar sorry this is av valve av valve av valve and we have this is semilunar valve seminula valve so when we discuss the cardiac cycle some of the important things we have to remember so when we discuss the cardiac cycle mainly we are focusing on ventricle ventricle what are the changes that is occurring in the ventricle that is the priority or we are looking at the ventricle and then what are the pressure changes this is very important in the ventricle and the volume the filling of the ventricle so these things we have to keep in mind when discussing the cardiac cycle so i prefer to discuss the cardiac cycle from left part of the heart the same event that will be occurring in the right uh, sorry uh, sorry uh, i prefer to discuss from the right side of the heart in the same event that will be occurring in the left part of the heart so let us take one side or uh, right atrium and right ventricle and discuss all the events of cardiac cycle and the same it will be occurring in the left side of the heart so first of all let us start the event first event we will discuss the rapid filling the rapid filling this event rapid filling here we have to uh, see what are the pressure changes let me change the color let me take green color okay so pressure changes so uh, let me say this valve is now closed every valve now closed as the blood accumulate as the blood come from the vena cava and pour to the right atrium the pressure the pressure in the atria will increase okay and here we have to remember one thing when the chamber is in relaxation okay when the chamber is in relaxation phase relaxation stage then there is a feeling then only there is a feeling this thing we have to remember so when the blood accumulate in the atria or pouring the uh, atria from vena cava the pressure will slightly increase in the atria and ventricular it is in relaxation they are undergoing relaxation undergoing relaxation when the ventricular pressure the venti uh, when the chamber is relaxing the pressure in the ventricle will decrease it is decreasing so when the pressure of the ventricle become lower than the pressure of the aorta the av valve automatically opens up okay here slightly the atrial pressure uh, will increase and at the same time the ventricle is relaxing and due to relaxing the pressure of the ventricle is decreasing significantly so here when the atrial pressure when the atrial pressure become more than ventricular pressure what will happen as a result of that av valve opening av valve opening okay av valve opening so here when the as soon as av valve opens as soon as av valve open let me take this eraser okay yeah sorry yeah as soon as av valve opens up the blood pour or the blood move from atria to the ventricle rapidly this flow of the blood or the rate of flow is rapid rate of flow is rapid and now this phase is called rapid filling it is filling of the ventricle rapidly rapid filling what are the events the atrial pressure is higher than the ventricular pressure and uh, there is opening of the av valve and the blood flow rapidly to the ventricle these are the events uh, it occur in the rapid filling and opening of the av valve and here we also mention the semilunar valve what is the stage of semilunar valve in rapid filling semilunar valve is still close close 
or remain closed, whatever. Semi lunar valve is not open, only every valve is open, and the blood rapidly uh, pouring to the ventricle. This is the first event, rapid filling. So, let us take another event that is we say slow filling. Slow, slow filling. This is also called diastasis. Diastasis. Sorry, my spelling is not good. Diastasis. Okay, diastasis. So, flow, slow filling here also the rate of flow. The rate of flow decrease. Let me change the color. It is this color. The rate of flow decrease. The flow of the rate will decrease. So, this is the main thing that we say slow filling. Same thing here, atrial pressure is still higher than the ventricular pressure. And uh, next event we can write every valve remains remains open because atrial pressure is higher than the ventricular pressure. So, these are the event we can uh, write when we describe the slow filling of cardiac uh, cycle. The phases of cardiac cycle. So, this rapid filling and slow filling, this is a passive filling, passive, passive filling of the ventricle, passive filling of the ventricle that does not require any energy. So, passive filling of the ventricle, it is almost 80 percent of the ventricle is filled by the passive filling, 80 percent of the ventricle is filled by the passive filling. And, uh, Filled by the passive filling, mainly rapid filling and the slow filling. So, during the relaxation, when the ventricle is relaxing or relaxed ventricle, there is a filling of the blood, and almost 80 percent is blood is filled by the passive filling. This is we have to remember. Okay, now two events we have completed. Next, ne let us go for the third event. Let me take another slide. Close. Okay, keep. Yeah, let me take another new slide. We'll take two more slides. Okay, 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 we done. Now, we have completed rapid phase and the slow phase. Let us discuss about the third one, okay. Third one is atrial contraction, atrial contraction. Let me again our diagram, the right side of the heart. This is a heart. Sorry for the diagram. Okay. Somehow I am managing my diagram. Okay. Whatever it may be, let me just atria and the ventricle. Right. This is a right side of the heart. Okay. Let me change the color. This color. Atrial contraction. This is an active, active mechanism. The atria will contract. The atria will contract. Atria will contract. So, before contraction, we have to remember that there should be a depolarization. There should be a depolarization of atrial muscle, depolarization or current flow of the atrial muscle. And this current flow of the atrial muscle can be seen in ECG. ECG, when you put an electrode, let me draw a ECG diagram. It's, it's very bad diagram, but okay. Yeah. P, Q, R S T. So when the atrial muscle is depolarized, you can see this wave, P wave. We can see here P wave in ECG. P wave in ECG. Because the depolarizing current that is moving over the atria. This is moving over the atrial muscle. And due to that, when you put an electrode in ECG graph, we can see a P wave. We can see a P wave. And due to depolarization, there is contraction. Due to depolarization, there is contraction atrial contraction so when the atria contract when the atria contract the blood will force to move to the ventricle force to move to the ventricle and the pressure of the atria will slightly increase because of the atrial contraction and uh, due to that the sli slight increase uh, that uh, uh, pressure in the atria due to contraction of due to atrial contraction and that is denoted that is denoted by what airway that is denoted by airway okay a wave, it is not in ECG, but it is the pressure change in the aorta, pressure in the, so not aorta, atria, atria, pressure change, slight increase of atrial pressure due to atrial contraction and that is denoted by A wave, that is you have to remember, don't be confused, P wave, it is a depolarizing current of the atria and A wave, it is resulted 
increase of pressure in the atria due to atrial contraction that is two things it is completely different okay so at air is air, air wave denoted by atrial pressure due to atrial contraction that is we have to remember here then we talk we talk, told that passive filling of the ventricle is around 80 percent and now due to atrial contractions the ventricle is filled by 20 percent almost ventricle is filled by the passive filling 80 percent and now due to atrial contraction there is filling of 20 percent of the ventricle so here what are the events the atrial pressure atrial pressure is still higher than the what ventricular pressure and because of that what will happen every valve remains open every valve remains open and at the same time when we want to write what is the stage of semilunar valve it is close it is close okay and the important one these are we have to write uh, every valve what is the stage of every valve it is open and blood flow from atria to the ventricle due to atrial contraction semilunar valve closed and main thing here p wave and the a wave we have to describe properly when i describe the uh, atrial phase of uh, atrial contraction phase of cardiac cycle okay this is we have done about atrial uh, contraction now in the fourth phase we will see the isovolumetric contraction now atria is contracting after depolarization so let, let let us see the third or fourth phase sorry fourth fourth phase of it cardiac cycle what is the fourth phase of cardiac cycle iso volumetric contraction iso volumetric contraction we have to remember this is this is a contraction in a closed chamber contraction of the ventricle in a closed chamber closed chamber Closed chamber means both the valve, every valve and seminal valve are closed. So let, let us draw again our diagram, right side of the heart. This is we have vena cava. Okay, then we have this is pulmonary artery. Then uh, this is every valve, and then we have semilunar valve. Okay, now we have discussed about the atrial contraction. There is already depolarization of atrial muscle and then followed by atrial contraction. That was our third phase. Now as the depolarizing current, which is uh, depolarizing current, it is move on the ventricular muscle. Depolarizing current, let me change the color. Let me take red color. Okay. So, depolarizing current, as they move in the ventricle, depolarization of the polarization of the ventricle. Depolarization of the ventricle. So, as the result of depolarization, what will happen? Contraction. Contraction. So, as the ventricular muscle contract, the blood wants to backflow or go wants to go back to the atria and during that time the AV valve close up as the ventricle start contracting the close the, there will be a closer of the AV valve AV valve closer AV valve closer and due, due to this closer we can hear the first heart sound first heart sound what is called it is love love first heart sound so after depolarization followed by a uh, depolarizing current then there is contraction when the ventricle is start contracting the closer of the av valve and the first heart sound we can hear that is love and then the ventricle is uh, contracting so this is this event is called isovolumetric contractions there will be no change of the volume but there is a pressure change pressure will increase significantly because they are contracting in a closed chamber av valve closed and semilunar valve also it is closed so they are contracting in a closed chamber so pressure in the ventricle is rising significantly intra ventricular pressure the pressure will rise significantly in this closed chamber so here what are the next event so ventricular pressure that we say vp ventricular pressure will increase significantly very high therefore the ventricular pressure ventricular pressure is higher than the atrial pressure and because of that there is a love sound closer of the av valve ventricular pressure is higher than the atrial pressure and there is significant increase of intraventricular pressure and also we we talk we told about depolarizing current of the ventricular muscle let me again draw the ecg okay ecg so p q r s t so this depolarizing current of the ventricle is denoted by q r s complex q r s complex q r s complex this indicates this indicates ventricular depolarization in ECG. We, we can read in the ECG QRS complex. It is denotes indicates ventricular depolarization. So this is this event we have to write when we describing the uh, describing the isovolumetric contraction. Let me talk about the five phase also. 
फाइव फेजिस फिफ्थ फेजिस मैक्सी मैक्सिमम मैक्सिमम इजेक्शन मैक्सिमम इजेक्शन सो हियर एज द वेंटिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग लेट मी चेंज द अनदर ओके एज द वेंटिकल इज कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग लेट मी ओके पेन या एज द वेंटिकल इज कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग द प्रेशर ऑफ द वेंटिकल इज राइजिंग प्रेशर ऑफ द वेंटिकल इज राइजिंग and when the pressure of the ventricle become more than the pressure of the artery it may be aortic artery or aorta or pulmonary artery so we are discussing right side of the heart it is a pulmonary artery so in the left side it is a aorta so when the ventricular pressure ventricular pressure is more than the what arterial pressure arterial pressure it may be pulmonary artery or aorta then what will happen as a result of that there is a opening of the semi lunar valve semi lunar valve so as soon as semi lunar valve opens up and because the pressure of the ventricle our ventricle is contracting and the pressure of the ventricle goes beyond the pressure of the artery there will be opening of the semi lunar valve and blood is ejected to the artery ejected and because ventricle is still contracting and reaches its peak peak i would say peak so as the ventricle is contracting the pressure of the ventricle reach to its peak and the blood is forcefully ejected with pressure to the artery and because of that there is a maximum ejection during this phase and it is named as maximum ejection maximum ejection here semi lunar valve as soon as it opens the blood is ejected to the artery and when we say av valve what will happen to the av valve it is still close why because ventricular pressure is ventricular pressure is higher than atrial pressure atrial pressure so that is we have to describe in this stage maximum ejection and maximum ejection ventricular pressure is higher than the at, at, uh, arterial pressure and the pressure of the ventricle reach to its peak reach to its peak okay so this is about the maximum ejection let me talk about the th uh, fifth uh, fifth phase of the cardiac cycle fifth phase is very simple now we talk about fifth phase i think sixth phase sixth phase of cardiac cycle it is called reduce reduce ejection reduce ejection so in this stage you can uh, okay let me draw another diagram so this is what we have okay uh, this heart is not very good but okay so as the blood is ejected to the artery Oh, okay as blood is ejected to the artery here maximum ejection maximum blood is ejected and then the ejection rate is the ejection rate ejection rate slows down slows down slows and because of that this term came reduced ejection here the rate of ejection or the blood forcefully move to the artery is reduced and then here we have to describe semi lunar valve semi lunar valve is still open because it's still open because ventricular pressure higher than the arterial pressure arterial pressure and when we discuss about the av valve it is close remains close remain close why because ventricular pressure is higher than the atrial pressure atrial pressure so here these things we have to remember in this way let us talk about the seventh phase seventh and last phase so during this phase when uh, okay in the reduced phase the pressure of the ventricle is it is uh, dropping slowly it is dropping slowly it is dropping and uh, slowly it is dropping why because after contraction depolarization after depolarization what will happen here repolarization 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 and the ventricular repolarization also can be seen in ecg this is our ecg okay it's not very good p q r s t t denotes the repolarization of the ventricular muscle this is repolarization of the ventricular muscle t indicates repolarization of the ventricular muscle okay this is we have done so here this phase seventh phase is 
uh, all about uh, this repolarization. What is, uh, as the result of repolarization, the ventricular muscle undergo relaxation. Undergo relaxation. This phase I saw volumetric relaxation. One more phase we will discuss. Let me finish this isovolumetric relaxation phase first. So, as the ventricle uh, uh, relaxing or relaxation of the ventricle occurs, what will happen here? The pressure of the ventricle, the pressure of the ventricle will decrease significantly. And when the pressure of the ventricle, pressure of the ventricle, okay, let me, uh, pressure of the ventricle decrease or uh, yes, lower than the arterial, arterial pressure. What will happen as a result of that semilunar valve closer? And the semilunar valve will close up. And due to this closure of the semilunar valve, we can hear the second heart sound. Heart sound that is due with the love. First heart sound, the is second heart sound. Due to the closure of the semilunar valve, when the ventricular pressure is dropped or lower than the arterial pressure. So, here when we describe the AV um, valve, AV valve is still close, remain close because the ventricular pressure is higher than the atrial pressure okay that is you have to remember in this phase and the t wave in ecg we can find what t wave in ecg t wave in ecg uh, this is about isovolumetric contraction here also see here semilunar valve close heavy valve also remains close so the ventricle is relaxing in a closed chamber this is you have to remember the ventricle is re uh, relaxing in a closed chamber and the pressure is dropping significantly here pressure is dropping significantly here and this is called isovolumetric there is no change of volume because the uh, valve are closed they are relaxing in a closed chamber this is called isovolumetric relaxation and these are the events you have to remember and uh, as the pressure as the pressure of the ventricle drops continues to drop when the ventricular pressure when the let me draw here or let me write here when the ventricular pressure is less when the ventricular pressure let me, let me let me when the ventricular pressure is become lower than the atrial pressure what will happen opening of the AV valve when the opening of the AV valve what phase will start rapid filling first phase we can you remember rapid filling rapid filling when the atrial pressure is higher than the ventricular pressure so again the cycle will start here one phase I have not described here let me uh, discuss again the another phase which is called photodiastole okay so another phase let me keep it in eight phase of cardiac cycle is photodiastole phase of cardiac cycle what is photodiastole phase so it is a period indicates the end of the end of ventricular systole well ventricle is contracting this is system end of ventricular systole and the beginning of ventricular diastole and just prior to the closure of the semilunar valve, that phase, that that stage is called, uh, that stage is called photodiastole. Let me draw a diagram again. So this is our little heart, right side of the heart. So this is pulmonary artery. Okay. So photodiastole, it is a period. See, let me change, take another color. No. Yeah. So here, let me say uh, this. Uh, let me draw. This is semilunar valve as the blood ejects to the artery and when the ventricles start relaxing. So what is it? Relaxing means what? After contraction, there is relaxation. So the end of ventricular systole or end of contraction. So when the ventricle end of contraction, they start uh, relaxing and then the pressure drops. So prior to the closure of the AV valve, prior to the closure of the AV valve, that phase is called AV valve. It is about to close. So it is the end of ventricular systole and the beginning of ventricular diastole that very short period is called photodiastole photodiastole when the ventricle is closed completely then the that phase is called isovolumetric relaxation just prior to isovolumetric relaxation phase we have a photodiastole phase of cardiac cycle so it is a big uh, end of uh, ventricular systole and the beginning of uh, ventricular relaxation diastole so during this phase when the ventricle is uh, relaxing there is the accumulation of blood or blood pouring or blood uh, filling to the atria. I told you when the uh, relaxation because atria is in relaxation phase, 
so the blood is accumulating in the atria and slowly there is a rise of pressure and that is denoted by the v wave v wave v wave that is denoted by v wave yes that is denoted by v v wave due to the here v wave is the rise of atrial pressure due to atrial feeling so you can write this line in the isovolumetric relaxation also or photodiastol so we have discussed the three or eight phases eight phases of cardiac cycle so let us summarize okay let us summarize what we have learned we have discussed about almost uh, uh, let me say eight phases one two three four five six seven eight isovolumetric contraction we can hear the first heart sound and there is a due to closure of the valve valve and ventricular depolarization followed by contraction qrs complex and the time duration is 0 0.05 second then when the ventricular pressure is higher than the arterial pressure or a water or pulmonary artery semilunar valve opens and blood ejected to the uh, artery and the pressure of the ventricle reach its peak it is and then followed by the reduced ejection the re ejection rate is reduced heart flow decline and the time duration is 0 0.22 second then we have photodiastole photodiastole there is a dropping of the ventricular pressure this is the phase is the end of ventricular systole and beginning of ventricular diastole and it is around 0 0.04 second then again uh, this one isovolumetric relaxation here the closure of the semilunar valve we can hear the second heart sound dove second heart sound dub dove and it is around 0 0.08 second then rapid filling of when the atrial pressure is higher than the ventricular pressure rapid filling rapid flow to the ventricle this is 0.11 second then diastasis or slow filling it is remained but rate of flow is decrease 0.19 second and atrial contractions 20 percent of the blood fill a ventricle by active process so rapid filling slow filling is a passive process so these three events one two three this is ventricular systole so ventricular systole is 0.3 second 0.3 second then this phase photodiastole iso relaxation isovolumetric relaxation then rapid filling diastasis atrial contraction these are all ventricular relaxation or diastole stage and this is around 0.5 so one systole plus one diastole is equal to one cardiac cycle it is around 0.8 second so can you able to understand the cardiac uh, cycle now i think now it is easy to understand so these are the events you have to remember when we are describing the cardiac cycle thank you